arguably the single largest train refinery in the globe, Dangote Petrochemical and Fertilizer Plant is an ambitious project poised to change the economic landscape of Nigeria. Located at the Lekki Free Trade Zone, it covers a massive land mass of about 25,000 hectares of land with a 650,000 barrel per day petrochemical refining capacity. Two of the largest fertilizer trains with 3 million tons per annum production, largest subsea pipeline infrastructure any country in the world can boast of with a 1,100 kilometer pipeline to handle 3 billion scoffs of gas per day. Acknowledging the efforts of the Dangote Group in developing this, the federal government of Nigeria, led by the Vice President, Professor Yemi Osibanjo, and four cabinet ministers, visited the plant. Alaja Liko Dangote speaks on the viability of the refinery and economic value it will bring to Nigeria and even Africa. These projects that we are doing, they are all projects to diversify the economy of Nigeria. You know, and they are the largest projects anywhere in the world, be it the fertilizer, be it the gas pipeline, be it the petrochemical, be it, you see, because, I mean, be it also the refinery. I mean, if you look at it, we are one and a half times the entire refinery when you add all the capacities, even if they are working 100%. This is the largest single line refinery in the world. The petrochemical that we have is 13 times LMA petrochemical. If you look at our history, since when we start industrialization, we have never ever stopped. We are continuously investing. Continuously. I mean, you go back and check, we have uh, 29 million tons of cement, but the only cement we sold last year was only 13 million. So we're always ahead of the curve. Yes, some people say that we have big hearts in terms of investment, but that's the only way to take the uh, uh, country out of the woods by investing heavily so that other foreigners who will see that there's investment going on. And that's what it is. I mean, today, this site is the largest industrial site anywhere in the world today, what we are doing here. Some business leaders, technocrats and government officials share their thoughts on the project. Well, this is a very good uh, development for the whole area and definitely also for uh, Nigeria. So I'm very happy to see uh, developments uh, going on here on site. And uh, hopefully also the Lekki Port will uh, be part of the big uh, you know, industrial development going on here. This uh, project is a very good one. And the one we're so much happy to, to have here. And the lead necessary is going to they one of the game changers that's going to transform Lagos into that mega city that we're looking for. With this project, that means um, today we import base oils, aviation fuel, household kerosene, petrol, diesel. But with this project now, that went and of course we will create employment for millions of Nigerians. When you look at Nigeria, it's okay, where are we going to be in the next three years? or three and a half years. Next three and a half years, which is like tomorrow, uh, will be at will be 207 million. We don't have the logistics capacity to be importing our consumption, discharging and distributing into the, the uh, you know country. And it's making people to uh, uh, tie down money. But with this one now, we even if the refinery uh, is down, we still have something to supply to the market. We have capacity to store 4 billion liters of products. 4 billion liters of products, we are talking about 110 ships. Vice President Professor Emil Sibanjo gives his takeaway an assessment. We have seen the uh, refinery, which is meant to refine 650,000 barrels of oil a day which uh, by all projections is the largest in the world. There is the petrochemical plant, the fertilizer plant, which is also uh, projected to be the largest in the world. And uh, there is also the uh, pipeline, there's also a pipeline uh, production uh, plant that's here. I think that it's an incredible uh, industrial undertaking, possibly the, the, uh, the largest and the most ambitious on the continent today. For Aliko Dangote, 
This project is designed to meet the energy supply needs of Nigeria at a critical time of its socioeconomic existence. Most of the filling stations, they don't have products. So if you don't have products, you are putting almost at least 10 people from the security man, the pump dispensers, the manager, everybody, you are putting them out of business. But by the time that we have, which we are producing, you don't have to buy too much and have a tank farm. No, you will consistently be getting products which will make that filling station to work. You know, like here now, we need something like about, even if the cycle is going to be four days or five days, for example, some nearer areas, we want to do distribution. This capacity we have here can load 2,680 trucks a day. The vice president speaking further believes that this is a critical infrastructure that will boost industrialization in Nigeria. This is incredible. If that can be done, it's a major strategic asset for Nigeria. It will boost our power supply tremendously. And um, we're certainly, uh, for me, that's one of the most important projects that could be done in this country. And um, it certainly is going to be a major boost for industry and for power supply generally. The Dangote Petrochemical and Fertilizer Refinery is poised to be one of the leading industrial parks in the globe. It will also catalyze job creation, which is remarkable. In all, this bold move and proactive step taken by Africa's richest man is a clear example of walking the talk in investing in the diversification of his country's economy.